We are not even going to talk about how long I haven't posted on here because it's embarrassing. But if you do care, then I'll explain it at the end and like a bunch of other things. Until then, this is another part of the TikTok guide series that I'm doing because I had like one edit blow up and now I think I can teach anyone anything, um, even though even though I literally struggle to. So I already have a lot of videos about the text effects that I'm already going to show you. But to have them all in one place may be helpful. And then also it goes with the series. But then also I have things to add and say about each of them. There's two that I'm going to show you is this is called smaller turbulent text effects and then the bigger turbulent text effect. The smaller, I don't really like using this version. It just looks really laggy and I guess that's the point, but it just doesn't look good to me. I'll use it sometimes, but not all the time. This version, it's a bit bigger. It's a bit different. I'll use this one more than the first one, but all in all, I really don't like to use turbulent text effects just because I don't really know. I only use it because I think I should use it. And you should never do that. Use it because you want to, not because you think you should. Anyways, for this version, which is the smaller turbulent, so you're gonna look up turbulent displace and then add it to your text. Somebody asked me how to do that. Um, there's people who are just now starting to edit. And sometimes I act like I started editing like a day ago, so I get it. To do that, you could double click or you can just drag it to whatever you're placing it on. In this case, it's the text. So for the amount, you're gonna do 12. For the size, you're gonna do 12 as well. Then you're gonna click the arrow and hold Option for Mac and it's Alt for Windows. And while you're holding that key down, push the stopwatch. I'm explaining it slowly because in my other video, people were like, why isn't it moving? Probably because you missed this step and it's literally the most important step. When you get to this section, type in time star. I really don't know what it's actually called. So I just say star. So time star seven to 10, which means you could do between the number seven and 10. You can do eight, you can do nine, you can do 10 or you can do whatever number you want. This is kind of small for me, so I would change the amount to 15 and the size to 15. So now for this version, which is the bigger turbulent or the less, I don't really know, but you can see the difference obviously, right? The amount will be five and the size will be 50. I'm gonna keep the time the same. And so people mainly use this for obviously when the character is talking. I've seen it used mainly in, it depends on what style you're doing and it depends on what the edit is, it could look good. Or it could look really ugly, I don't know. Anyways, next. Wave warp text. This is the one I use all the time and I love it. I will never stop using this. Um, I've used it on these types of edits, which you can look at them on my TikTok if you want. So look up wave warp and then add it to your text or whatever. The only thing we're touching is this section and you're going to make it from 40 to 600. Then you're going to go to the wave speed and I like to make it really slow. To make it really fast, it looks like a 2018 edit in my opinion. So I make it about 0 0.2 to 0.3 and that's really it. It's like super slow. is the extend text effect which i've already done before and surprisingly it's like really viewed on my channel <laughs> but we're gonna go through it again so, so for what i'm about to do i usually push the u key on the keyboard but to make it simple i'm just gonna do the arrow because i don't know if it's like universal for some of the keys between mac and windows i click the arrow and then i'm gonna click animate from this section, I do tracking. So you're gonna make a keyframe and to do that, you click the stopwatch. Go to the end of your text and make it whatever you want. I like to do nine because I don't like it to be too extended, then it looks just really weird. But that's 
pretty much it. As for where I've been, I moved again. Uh, my family travels a lot, which I've said so many times, but um, so I was in the States. I was in the States for a while and then I moved to Ghana and I was there for a little bit and now I'm back in Japan which is where I posted my first video and I'm just in a hotel with all my family right now so I haven't been able to really do anything except edit I haven't been able to like film and stuff because why would I film in front of my family it's not even filming it's just recording but it's still like kind of embarrassing in front of people but I've been posting all over TikTok and surprisingly my account has been doing really well um I love posting on TikTok everybody's so supportive on there and I love giving like my opinions it's weird because a lot of OG editors complain about how like complain about TikTok and TikTok's editing community and it's like the jealousy is so loud um I've been editing for a long time I would be considered an OG editor if I was relevant. I swear to you, every like OG editor post on TikTok. Like <laughs> it's really weird. Like everybody will complain about how things move to TikTok and yet they'll still post on TikTok. I really don't think it's a big deal about like what people edit and how they edit. Everybody's just editing. And I feel like the TikTok editing community has been really cool. I've always felt disconnected from Instagram editing. I feel like everything on Instagram is more of, I don't really know what's going on on Instagram. Usually I'll talk about the stuff when I do a watch me edit, but since I've been just away for so long, I've had so much to say and I have like zero mutuals, I swear. Also, thank you for a lot of the support on my channel. I've like, I left with 400 subscribers and I came back to almost, I think 900, which is really cool. Um, thank you. And I've gotten a lot of comments. One of my favorite comments that'll always make me twirl my hair and kick my feet is comments about my voice. Oh my God. I came back to so many comments about my voice saying how soft and sweet it was. It really added years to my lifespan.